so uh, today in, uh, in today's topic uh, we will be discussing about the introductory parts of your machine learning again and also we will be talking about some other aspects what we haven't discussed in uh, yesterday's session regarding your machine learning so uh, we will start with a uh, classification of artificial intelligence learning models as i said machine learning is a uh, subject linked to your artificial intelligence so we'll be trying to understand uh, different learning models which are linked to your artificial intelligence okay so basically uh, to understand the different types of uh, machine learning or ai learning models we can use uh, n number of ways right so but basic thing is there there might be different different approaches like it can be supervised learning unsupervised and different different types of learnings so basically in machine learning there are 14 types of learning so we are only confined to supervised and unsupervised and uh, reinforcement learning but basically uh, coming to your machine learning there are 14 types of learning which can be uh, classified in machine learning but how they are classified on what basis they are classified so they are classified based on uh, two types of human learning process that is one is based on knowledge other one is uh, based on feedback so if at all somebody ask you what are different types of uh, artificial intelligence learning models uh, or models so you need to say they are classified based on two important factors that is one is based on the knowledge so knowledge can be given by the domain expert or anybody and one is based on the feedback from the uh, different different models okay so now let's try to understand the classification of machine learning systems and also artificial intelligence learning models using these two approaches that is based on the knowledge and based on the feedback okay from the uh, knowledge perspective learning models can be classified based on the representation of input and the output data points so as i said yesterday uh, in supervised learning you will be having some input and output will be already given and if i talk about unsupervised you will not be having the output parameters you uh, machine need to understand the output parameters and run accordingly so based on the input and the output po uh, data points knowledge uh, knowledge classification can be done for the machine learning system and second one is based on the feedback of a Uh, system that is ai learning models can be classified based on the interactions with the outside environment interaction with the users and other external factors okay so you need to remember two points here so uh, learning systems are classified based on knowledge and based on the feedback okay yeah so now let's try to talk about this in depth about what are these learning models what is this feedback based and what is this knowledge based models so initially uh, we talk about uh feedback based models which are discussed earlier in your previous uh video or previous session yeah so uh feedback based approaches uh, uh are linked to supervised unsupervised semi supervised or reinforcement learning so we have already discussed about what is supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning so there is one more uh, method which is which comes under feedback based learning that is semi supervised learning which is a combination or which is link which is a between a uh, learning between supervised and unsupervised learning so let's again uh, uh, have a review about what are these methods as for understanding of this methods again yeah supervised learning models use external feedback that is a supervisor will be available to provide what is an input and what is an output so you'll be having an external feedback to learning functions that map inputs to the output observations so you'll be having what is the input you'll be having what is the output and according to that a supervisor will be having a mapping function about how it should be uh, followed so in those models the external environment acts as a teacher of the ai algorithm that is a teacher or a it is called as a supervisor that's why it is called as a supervised learning so the best example for this supervised learning is classification yesterday i have shown that classification comes under supervised learning also regression next unsupervised learning focus on learning a pattern in the input data without any external feedback so there will not be any supervisor it will not say what is the output it only provides input according to the input data an intelligent machine or an algorithm need to understand the patterns in your data and accordingly it need to design the uh, decision and uh, give some output so the best example for uh, unsupervised learning is clustering and also uh, association as we have discussed in the previous session as uh, as i said the next learning is uh, the next feedback based classification or learning is uh, semi supervised learning 
which uses a set of curated label data and tries to infer new labels or attributes on new data set so here uh, the knowledge given to uh, an algorithm is only 50% that is only some parameters will be labeled other parameters which are not understood by the supervisor will be left over so then that is called as a semi supervised learning which means some attributes or some data points are having labels others might not be well classified so semi supervising learning models are a solid middle ground between supervised and unsupervised models okay so if a data cannot be considered as supervised or unsupervised then it is considered as semi supervised because some data labels are labeled some of them are not labeled properly okay and the next uh, next uh, learning algorithm is uh, reinforcement learning which uses opposite dynamics such as rewards and uh, punishment to reinforce different types of knowledge so as i said uh, uh, artificial intelligence systems comes under this reinforcement learning because a decision need to be made from the domain expert knowledge or the from the expert system knowledge this type of learning technique is becoming really popular in modern ai solutions so okay so any uh, artificial intelligence approaches or learning models are basically treated as reinforcement learning models okay so uh, that is about your feedback based learning now let's discuss about knowledge based classification so as i said uh, artificial intelligence learning models are classified into two types that is feedback based other one is knowledge based and in feedback based we are having supervised unsupervised machine uh, uh, classification and uh, next semi supervised and reinforcement learning so here the next approach is knowledge based classification so here the representation of a knowledge uh, can be classified into two types that is inductive and deductive so in today's session as i said uh, we will be talking about inductive based learning it comes under knowledge based classification okay uh, in examination point of view questions can be asked about explain about knowledge based classification so you need to remember that in knowledge based classification you are having uh, two types that is inductive and deductive learning so in our syllabus we are having inductive based learning we are not having deductive learning however we will try to understand both of them parallelly okay yeah so uh, talking about inductive based learning so inductive uh, based learning is type of ai learning model which is based on inferring a general rule for data sets of input output pairs so basically you will be it, it comes under supervised type of learning only it is similar to supervised learning only because you will be having an input output pairs but here it should generate its own rules to classify the data so basically uh, it comes under rule based understanding of your machine learning so algorithms such as knowledge based inductive learning uh, are great example of this type of ai learning technique okay so this knowledge based inductive learning focus on finding inductive hypothesis or conclusion on a data set with the help of background information the background information here indicates what is the input and what is the uh, output being given to the expert system okay yeah that's a brief overview of what is inductive learning in next slides we will try to get into the deeper concept of inductive based learning and as i said uh, 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 knowledge based systems are classified into two types that is inductive and deductive so deductive based learning starts with a series of rules and infers new rules that are most efficient in context of a specific ai algorithm so uh, in inductive learning we only talk about what is the input data and output data given and according to that some rules will be generated but in deductive learning the rules it starts with a series of rules and it infers new rules that are more efficient in the context of a specific learning algorithm that is new rules will be uh, automatically framed by an intelligent machine according to the input parameters provided by the supervisor or the user so there are again classified into two types that is explanation based learning and other one is relevance based learning these are the two examples or two classification of your deductive based technique so uh, explanation based learning extracts general rules from examples by generalizing the explanation if we try to understand the what are the explanation provided or the evidence is provided and accordingly uh, explanation based learning can understand the general rules next uh, relevance based learning focus on identifying attributes and deductive generalization from the simple example 
Now assume that uh, a task is already completed by an intelligent machine. It will try to understand from the previous uh, previously available task, and accordingly, relevance of a algorithm or a technique can be understood by the relevance based learning. Okay, so this is a brief overview of what is inductive and what is deductive learning. Now, uh, coming to our syllabus, we will be trying to more uh, focus more on your inductive based learning. So, with respect to the inductive based learning, there is an inductive learning algorithm which need to be understood. Okay, yeah. So, inductive learning algorithm is an iterative and inductive machine learning algorithm which is used for generating a set of classification rules. So, basically, because uh, supervised learning concentrates on classification rules. So whenever you are having some data points and input output attributes, according to the rules, that is if then rules, an inductive uh, learning algorithm try to produce rules at each iteration and according to such set of rules. So until uh, a certain criteria is satisfied, rules will be generated. And once the criteria is satisfied, then inductive learning algorithm will be stopped. Okay, so based on the input and output provided by the supervisor, it will try to generate some set of instructions or if then rules and accordingly it will try to iterate until then classification is done okay so the basic idea of, of this inductive based learning uh, uh, it involves about two things one is about the knowledge uh, given by the domain expert another one is if the knowledge uh, knowledge cannot be provided by the domain expert then it is linked to your machine learning Okay, now let's try to understand how an inductive learning algorithm uh, takes knowledge from some domain expert, when we need to ex uh, take knowledge of domain expert, and when we need to go for your machine learning. Okay, so uh, for very large amount of data, the domain experts are not very useful and reliable. So we move towards the machine learning approaches. So whenever you are having huge data sets where a human being or, or some domain experts might not give you appropriate knowledge, so at that time, we need to move to your machine learning approach. Suppose if you are having a small set of data points or data set, then domain knowledge is very well sufficient for inductive based learning. So uh, to use machine learning, one method is to replicate the expert logic in the form of algorithms. But this work is very tedious, time taking and expensive. So machine learning basically depends on the previously uh, used knowledge. So a domain expert need to again uh, develop an algorithm, but uh, for, for every time developing a new approach is very tedious to us. That's the reason there are some standard algorithms being designed, which can be used for your multiple purpose, according to the data, whatever you're going to work with. So uh, we, we move towards the inductive algorithms, which itself generates a strategy for performing a task and need not instruct separately at each step. So some machine learning algorithm like support vector machines, decision tree, uh, algorithms, naive bay classification, they can be used directly by any user according to the data points, whatever they are having. But some algorithms, some data points need some effective algorithms where the rules need to be generated automatically. They are, they comes under this inductive learning approaches. Okay. Yeah. This is the basic understanding. So whenever we talk about inductive based learning, we need to remember that it is based on some rules generation, generating some set of classification rules using if then conditions. That are the conditions in which they'll be framing some rules. So what is the need of uh, inductive learning algorithm in presence of other machine learning algorithm? This is very, very important question, which can be raised in examinations by anyone. It can be mid examination or external examination. This point need to be very clearly understood. Whenever you are having your machine learning algorithms like a support vector machine decision trees, why we need to go for this inductive learning algorithm? Okay, so try to concentrate on this slide, guys. So inductive learning algorithm is a new algorithm which was needed even when other algorithms like ID3, which means iterative decotomizer and AQ uh, algorithm quasi optimal. This comes under some decision tree concepts so whenever you are having this decision tree approach, why we are going for this inductive learning approach? Okay, so let's try to look into this point. The need was due to the pitfalls which were present in the previous algorithms. So ID3, uh, C4.5, J48, which are uh, actually these decision tree approaches, they are having some pitfalls. There are some limitations for this approach. 
so one of the major pitfalls was lack of generalization of rules so there also we will be trying to make some decision based on the decision tree so some set of association rules will be formed by using uh, uh, some metrics like entropy and information gain but but they are not actually much much reliable when compared to this inductive based learning so the id3 and aq used to used by the decision tree which was too specific which were difficult to analyze and very slow to perform the basic short classification problems for very short classification problems these are not not muchly preferred the decision tree based algorithms was a, unable to work for a new problem if some attributes are missing as i said uh, they comes under classification comes under supervised learning they only work for some labeled data suppose some labels are not uh, provided suppose assume data is unsupervised so at that time decision tree algorithms failed to give some proper results that's the reason we are having a need for inductive based learning the inductive based learning uses the method of production of a general set of rules instead of decision trees which overcomes the ebro problems that's the reason inductive based learning try to generate its own rules accordingly uh, the rules will be used to govern the next decision making okay yeah so uh, going uh, deeper into the concept of this inductive based learning it is also called a, called as concept learning which is a way in which ai systems try to uh, use a generalized rule to carry out observation according to the data points available in your data the learning uh, algorithm will try to use some generalized rules to make some decision okay so the data is obtained as a result of machine learning or from domain experts basically human beings where it is used to drive algorithms often called as inductive learning algorithms so inductive learning algorithms try to take uh, data points or the, or the opinions of domain experts and accordingly an algorithm will be framed which are used to generate a set of classification rules those classification rules are useful uh, helpful in making a decision so these rules are generated uh, which are generated in the form of uh, if uh, if if this then that that is called as if then rules then uh, according to those if then conditions some rules are being generated so they are the rules that determine the state of an entity at every single iteration or every single step in the learning and that can be effectively changed by appending more rules to the already existing rules so assume that some already rules are available so uh, in inductive learning algorithm will try to use that rules and if that rules are not well uh, suitable for that uh, some such set of uh, process then we actually you go for new rules generation so at that time uh, inductive learning algorithm will try to gen uh, iterate n number of times and that iteration if decision is not made it will go for new uh, rule generation okay the goal of inductive learning is to learn the function for new data when the output and example of the functions are input to the ai system so whenever you are having a proper input and proper output and if you want to make a decision using inductive based learning that is automatically generating rules that uh, then we opt for this inductive based learning okay yeah 